if you find yourself close to an ocean, a river estuary, or a tropical swamp, you are unlikely to be far from a crab. Crabs are an amazingly prolific crustacean and can be found all around the world, from the icy waters of the north to steamy jungles and desert islands. There are a huge variety of crabs out there and these bizarre creatures never cease to amaze. The success of the crab dates back millions and millions of years. This horseshoe crab crawled into existence about 450 million years ago, which means that they were around long before even the dinosaurs. But dig a little deeper and the name horseshoe crab is misleading. These guys are more closely related to scorpions and spiders. Crabs proper date back about 250 million years, so they are still some of the oldest creatures on the planet, and this has given them plenty of time to evolve into all sorts of weird and wonderful species. Wild Bites – Crabs you may have heard the phrase bottom feeder used as an insult, but it's key to the astonishing success of the crab. Most crabs eat more or less anything. They're scavengers. And as stuff falls from above, the crabs banquet beneath. There's no shortage of dead stuff to keep them going. Some crabs can lay 100,000 eggs at a time. Admittedly, few of these baby crabs will make it to adulthood. But those that do form part of the vast global crab population. Around the world, as these little ones grow, they congregate in vast swarms. The largest gathering of crabs on Earth happens once a year on Christmas Island. These red crabs have an instinct to breed, so they commute en masse from their jungle home all the way to the ocean. Each year, around 40 million crabs make a run for it, but not all of them reach the seaside. There are crazy ant ambushes, and steamroller-like car wheels to negotiate along the way. Crabs might seem rather defenceless against the perils of their migration, but under usual crab circumstances, they are not so vulnerable, largely thanks to their powerful pincers. Crab pincers are used to sweep up grub, to prise open shells and to defend themselves. And you really don't want to get pinched with these sharp claws. A crab's grip is vice-like, some species have a nipping power ten times stronger than our own. The pincer is common to all crabs, but there are plenty of neat evolutionary traits peculiar to different species. This porcelain crab lives in symbiosis, a close long-term relationship with poisonous anemones. It uses their stinging tendrils for protection, while the crab itself is immune. And this Galapagos crab has a taste for the dead skin on an iguana's head. He doesn't seem to mind. No more dandruff. Then there is this excessively hairy and orange orangutan crab that collects bits of debris in its fur as a camouflage mechanism. Crabs have the moves too, from the quick step to a rave-like jig. And ballet. And this swimming crab can no longer be bothered with walking sideways. It prefers front crawl for exercise. But for all the amazing stuff some crabs can do, many of us know and love crabs in an entirely different way. Crabs are considered a delicacy, caught to satisfy taste buds across the globe. They're big business. The Japanese spider crab, at up to four meters across, is the largest crab of all and it happens to be edible. But perhaps the most popular edible crab is its cousin, the Red King Crab, renowned for its sweet meat. Demand for the ultimate crabby taste has driven up prices. Snow crabs, another form of spider crab, have been known to sell for almost 50,000 US dollars each. If they don't get caught, crabs can live as long as humans, with some spider crabs living for 100 years. So, spare a thought for just how awesome crabs are before chowing down on this fantastic creature. Remember, it might just be as old as your granny.